What's going on guys? Jesse from Sled Addicts here. So in this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different from our usual ride videos that you may be used to. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to give a brief summary of our trip here in New Brunswick, highlighting what New Brunswick is known for and talking about the Christus Mountains, which houses a number of new trails that have been established over the past few seasons. To start off, who best to tell you about New Brunswick and the unbelievable trail riding experience offered than Ross Answorth, recently retired general manager of the New Brunswick Federation of Snowmobile Clubs. Ross, so what's your history with New Brunswick and how did you get involved in snowmobiling up here? Well, I got involved in snowmobiling with my dad way back in the 70s and then as life moved on. So I grew up around snowmobiling. Uh, I got a phone call to join a snowmobile club hmm. and would I volunteer. And uh, right at that point in my life, I was uh, ready to do that. And uh, my wife said, how'd you make out? When I come home, I said, well, I'm vice president. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that set me on a journey that I never expected uh, that was uh, very, very much part of my life. Uh, the short and long of it, uh, I began to volunteer for the New Brunswick Federation of Snowmobile Clubs uh, some 27, 28 years ago, but really had the privilege of being their general manager for 24 years, and I just recently retired from that full-time position. So snowmobile has been a big part of my personal life. <laughs> and it became part of my professional life, and uh, so uh, it, it's been a really cool, cool ride. That's awesome. And uh, in your opinion, in terms of New Brunswick and how it compares, what would you say is something that, or a couple of things that set New Brunswick apart from other places in Canada and the northern U.S.? I, uh, the very first thing always comes to mind is the length of season we have here. I mean, uh, not everybody thinks of New Brunswick as being this northern place, but the reality is, is that, is that we have parts of the province that have snow belts, and uh, while lots of places say, "Oh, come here," you know, we have snow from December to the end of the March. The reality is, is not near that far. It, it's maybe the second week of January to the first week of March. Mm -hmm. But we have parts here, and we've just experienced it riding yep. uh, that uh, you know uh, we can begin in December in lots of places and go to the second, third week April, and of course the interior in the Christmas mountains, we can go to the end of April, and so it just makes it a really unique spot. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the other things too, um, and, I, and I, I don't always think of it right away, but all the lodges, all the neat and cool little places yeah. to stop that other places don't have. And the other thing is that the, the volunteers, the club system, have done a wonderful job of putting shelters in places. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, those shelters are well taken care of, and they're, they're there for an emergency, and they have wood and yeah. things like that. So it does make it a little unique versus all the other provinces and states I've had the opportunity to ride in. Yeah, absolutely. I would say like those lodges we stopped at yesterday, Island Lake Lodge, like places you don't really see every day. And it kind of just adds to that sledding experience because these are like little sledding paradises. Yeah, they're just, they're just, and, and they're kind of in the snowmobile lore. Yeah. Like, like, like other people don't even know about it. You know, you talk about, you talk about Serpentine or Moose Valley or Island Lake <laughs> or the new lodge at Mount Carlton Provincial Park. I mean, that's, 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 that's stunning. That's, that's, that's yeah. stunning. But these other places, you know, are all privately run and they're so much a part of the snowmobile experience and so much a part of the system and they've all learned to work with the snowmobile clubs and the volunteers and it just makes for a wonderful visiting experience mm -hmm. over and above the fun of riding yeah exactly so i guess the other question i had for you in terms of the christmas mountains i know it's a newer area of riding here in new brunswick yeah tell me a little bit about how that came to be and what makes the christmas mountains special the Christmas Mountains was this crazy idea that we came up with. Gosh, it must be coming close to 15 years ago, well over 10. Uh, in my career, I had the great privilege of meeting people who did my job right across Canada and the USA. Mm -hmm. And I was down to the Black Hills of South Dakota many years ago. And uh, Shannon, who runs the program there, and another fellow who set it up, uh, Kim, uh, are still good friends of mine. And basically what they did was they took the highest point in the state and they put groomers at the top of it, okay? Mm -hmm. and, they, and they groomed a different way. They groomed out from a hub so that they had this huge efficiency. So the Christmas Mountains in New Brunswick, and here's the, one of the things I, I'm just so proud of. When I was talking about Christmas Mountains 10 years ago, everybody was looking at me like, what are you talking about? Did you make that up? 
There's a portion of New Brunswick through the Appalachian Mountains that were actually named after reindeer. Wow. And there's great big forestry roads through there, okay? So it's not like the, the mountain you're going to see when you go to British Columbia or Wyoming where you come around a corner and go, oh, crap, there it is, okay? Yeah. You're already on top of them. And that elevation, that elevation holds the snow from late November to early May, okay? Big wide forestry roads, so easy to maintain. We yeah. had Mount Carlton Provincial Park in the middle. Yeah. It took pressure off the volunteers and clubs. Absolutely. And it's just, and there's enough services on the edges, okay? I, I believe there needs to be more, and I believe there will be more, yeah. okay? But there's enough services on the edges that you can access it, whether you're coming from, from Bathurst or whether you're coming from Plaster Rock or whether you're coming from the Dope Town Boys Town area, or, you know, you can access mm -hmm. it. It's just... And the other thing it does, besides the grooming of these big wide forestry roads, is there's a ton of roads, and it's all on crown land for all the off trail riding, and that's been huge. and that's been an issue, and it shouldn't be an issue. Everybody should be able to enjoy themselves, but now people can ride off trail with no with no worry of upsetting no the worry, land. okay? And it doesn't take away the trail. We're not into the private landowner issues or land access issues, yeah. and this was all part of the bigger vision. So the Christmas Mountains is very special in that way because it's going to separate New Brunswick as having a very unique area, a yeah. long riding season, on trail, off trail, add everything in that was already here, and uh, it's 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 special. It's special. Yeah, I can imagine. Like even going through yesterday and seeing some of those areas where the, those trails are, like there's an abundance of snow there, like significantly more snow as you climb up that. Yeah, altitude. I mean here we are, the third week of March, and uh, most places would die to have this much snow at the peak of winter. Yeah, <laughs> right. There's a lot of snow. Right, here. there's a lot lot of snow, yeah. and of course that, uh, and of course because of the higher elevation in the interior of the province, it'll hold and hold and hold for and hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Ross, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, yeah. thanks for riding with us. Great riding with you, and thank you for all the questions. My pleasure. So there you have it. New Brunswick is truly a unique place to ride and a destination for any snowmobiler eager for a new riding experience. From the tight and twisty trails, which are common coming out of the major cities like Edmonston or Bathurst, to the fast and wide logging roads as you head into the northern rural part of the province, there really is a wide array of riding opportunities. And for me... I like signage, and I've never seen better trail signage than here in New Brunswick. Every single intersection is marked well, with signboards showing which trail goes which direction, the exact distance to the nearest towns, and the distance to gas and shelter in whichever direction you choose to head. And don't even get me started on the Christmas Mountains. All I can say is wow. As you start heading towards Mont Carlton Park, which is considered the base of the Christmas Mountains, the powder keeps on building, and the wide variety of logging roads allows you to enjoy both on and off trail riding. Now that you know a little bit about northern New Brunswick and what the riding experience is like here, get started on booking your snowmobile trip of a lifetime right here in New Brunswick.